What's going on YouTube? That's Okayo here, and aside from YouTube, I also stream Mondays and Wednesdays from 9pm to midnight here on YouTube. I also stream to Facebook and Twitch. I'll leave those links down in the description below. So definitely stop by the stream to say hi. I'm still a fairly new streamer. February of this year is when I started. However, one thing as a streamer and a content creator, you have to be honest with yourself and you have to constantly be searching on how to improve your content. Right now, I'm focusing on my streams and right now, being honest with myself, they're pretty bland. I'm just playing with my friends and from a new viewer's perspective, they don't know what we're talking about. And me and my friends that I play with are mechanics, so some new viewers may get lost in the jargon. Understanding this and taking an honest look at the other aspects of my stream, I've realized that it's not that entertaining. So I wanted to add some new elements into my stream and make it a little less bland and start the journey of becoming a more entertaining streamer. So today I wanted to show you guys how to add GIFs into your stream. And yes, I said GIF with a J. Actually, real quick, let's start a comment debate. How do you guys pronounce GIF? Do you guys pronounce it GIF with a J? Or do you guys pronounce it GIF with a G? Let the chat debate begin. Anyway, back to the video objective. Let me show you guys how to add GIFs into your stream. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your favorite GIF website. You have Jiffy.com or you have Tenor. Any of those will be okay. Next, you're going to want to find yourself a GIF. So when you're searching for your GIFs, keep in mind that you're going to probably want to have a GIF with a transparent background. This way it doesn't interfere with your stream or whatever content you're streaming and you're still gonna be able to add some new elements into your stream. With that in mind, we're gonna go ahead and use this GIF right here. Actually, I like this one better. To make things a little bit more organized, go ahead and make yourself a folder, say on your desktop or anywhere you wanna put it. Make yourself a folder, name it GIFs, or um, you know, this way it'll be more organized. So this way you'll have a dedicated place put all your GIFs and along with any other content that you're downloading. So anyway, when you go ahead, when you find the GIF that you want to download, go to it and then right click and then you're going to want to save image as. So what we're going to want to do is you want to save it and this we'll call this one GG and save it. Now this is important, if you download this from either Jiffy or Tenor or any other GIF website, it's going to already recognize that it is a GIF, but you just want to make sure that it is a .gif extension. Once you have your GIFs that you want downloaded onto your computer, you're going to want to open up Streamlabs, and then wherever you're going to want to add your GIF, I'm going, for example, I want to add, let's, let's say that I want to add a GIF to my live stream. This is the main screen that I use for gaming. So let's add a GG to this transition. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to add, go to your sources. You're going to add a media source. As you can see here, GIF is one of the extensions that you can use on your media source. So when you select media source, go ahead and add source. And these are going to be the sources that you've previously added. However, we're going to be adding a new source. Let's call this, we, you can name this whatever you want, but let's call this GG. And here is where you find where you put the GIF at on your PC. So we put ours in GIFs. GG. Now as you noticed, it popped up and then it went away. Now if you want to keep it going, you just hit this right here. This is the loop. So after it runs its course, it'll continue to keep playing. And this right here, this slider right here, this is going to affect the speed on how fast you want the GIF to, to play. Okay. All right, and then now what you want to do is you just want to put it to wherever you want it to, to play at, and then you'll be able to have this here, and you can set it up a hotkey 
or you'd be able to set up a button on your screen deck if you have one of those or if you don't have any of that then you just want to have to manually turn it on and off. Now the next thing I want to show you guys is how to add audible alerts. So what you're going to want to do is click the alert box, highlight it, then you're going to want to hit this cogwheel right here. This is going to open up this menu and you're going to want to go to whatever alert that you're going to change the audio to. So let's say you want to add audio for your likes when someone likes your stream. So what you're going to want to do after you select which alert you're going to want to edit, go over to media and then under sound file you're going to want to change media. Now unless you have your own you can either upload your own sound file or you can use the stock sound files. Uh, that's what I use. You can select through all of these right here. However, if you don't have the Streamlabs Prime, obviously all the sound clips that are marked Prime, you're not going to be able to use. However, there is a nice selection of stock sound clips that you can use. Just go ahead through and select you know, whichever one you want to use. I have chosen success, the success chime, this is the one that I prefer. And when you're done, you hit done. And then you're going to change the volume to whatever volume you like. This is where I have it at. I have it on 9, this way it's not too loud. I'm still able to hear it. It's not too loud for your viewers either. But that's your personal preference. So once you get that done, then you just go ahead and hit done. And if you want to test your widget, go ahead and open up test widget and then hit the like button. You know, and then you can go ahead and change for all of these different ones. As you can see, these are the sounds that I used. Okay. So I hope you guys learned something new today, and if you did, be sure to hit the like button. As I become more familiar with Streamlabs, and I learn more about the elements that I would like to add to my own stream, on how to make it more unique, I'll be sure to make another video and show you guys how I did it. And if you're new to streaming, be sure to check out one of my other review videos on helping you choose quality gear on a budget. But until next time YouTube, I'm Matt Kyle. thanks for watching.